Hello Libra, I'm hoping you guys are doing well. We're going to go ahead and start the series regarding the person that you have on your mind. I have already completed all the monthlies. So for those that are interested in different areas of your life or when it comes to money, career, partnership, I did create a list and the link is in the description box below. This particular spread only is concentrated on the ones that want to know how your person feels. So we're going to go ahead and see how they feel towards you. This is for March, but it can be any time. The action that they would like to take, how they view you, Libra. What are the blockages and challenges that they're facing? We will see here what they love best about you. What are their hopes? What they don't like best about you? Their true intentions? Where are you both mutually at? And the best possible outcome. So Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. As usual, these are pretty general. For those that uh, are interested in the extended, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's start. Five shuffles for Libra and their person, please. Sorry. I keep getting the seven of pentacles and the eight of pentacles so someone is waiting Ooh, waiting and hiding okay a lot of hanging type of energy let's see it's beautiful we're starting with the ace of cups when it comes to their feelings actions the king of wands wow they view you as the two of cups the star is what they're having challenges or blocks the page of swords we have the ten of swords the Ten of Pentacles, Judgment, their intentions. You both have the Five of Cups and the Nine of Cups is the best possible outcome. This is a great reading. Okay, though, again, there's sadness, but I feel like most of the readings always have some type of, you know, separation, sadness, and so on. They, they have the Ace of Cups with you, so they feel very overwhelming. This is the type of uh, feeling that is very open, very receptive, very vulnerable. They're feeling very vulnerable towards you. And again, th their heart is open. Their actions are coming with the King of Wands. Now, I do see the, the, this type of energy as very action-oriented, very much in control, but there's a lot of pride with the King of Wands. The King of Wands wants to win. So if they come towards you, they want to make sure, again, that they're going to have their attention is on them. They're going to win. Uh, very charismatic personality. Very passionate. Again, they are very much coming towards you with that kind of passion attitude. Um, it can be a, bit, a little bit here, my way or the highway type of energy. We'll see when we clarify. Uh, they view you as the two of cups. So again, the ace of cups and two of cups feelings and views is in sync with this person. You are the person that they feel they connect, uh, that kind of soulmate connection, Venus in Cancer. Very nurturing, very loving. It's just two people that understand each other emotionally. The blockages, though, is the ace. I'm sorry, the ace. I was still with ace of cups. Is the star. So this tells me that there's some type of, someone feels like they lost hope. There's distant, too good to be true. They don't deserve you. It's it's so interesting. I do not see the King of Wands feeling that they don't deserve anyone, but uh, there's something here about them losing hope. What they love best about you, we have the Page of Swords. Unless this person feels like you're watching them and they enjoy this or that you're keeping tabs, they may be this um, very... It can be for some of you age difference, but uh, overall, very much quick mindness. Someone that is very curious, very youthful, very exciting, especially when it comes to communication. This is what they love best about you. You still have that youthful energy, but at the same time, there's that mental curiosity going on. The Ten of Swords is what they're hoping for. Now, remember, it's so interesting here. It, it seems since you both are, you know, at grief, at, at loss here, they want for something here that has been painful, betrayal, to kind of go away. Um, they, they feel very much beat down here with the Ten of Swords, and they're hoping to get out of this. If they have hurt you, they're hoping again that the scars will heal. I think it's mostly um, mental type of um, exhaustion. They want to put an end to the negative thinking. What they don't like best about you, Ten of Pentacles. We're talking about family. <laughs> uh, for some of you, it can be commitment. They don't feel like you want, uh, you don't want to commit. Or again, there's some type of commitment issues going on and family issues. For some of you, it can be again 
that there's some type of um, establishment and security right now that you feel you're not there yet. But we'll see when we clarify why that. Their intentions is the judgment. Now, if there's been some type of hurt, judgment very much is forgiveness. But this is also someone finally calling, giving second chances. That's what their intentions are. Pure with the judgment. And again, because their their feelings are with Ace of Cups, I'm getting a lot. For, for some of you, maybe dealing with a water sign, doesn't have to. This person does have a vulnerable type of situation when it comes to you. They're, they're open uh, very much to loving you. So the judgment is just second chances, uh, type of rebirth. Or again, they want here to start something new with you. You are both feeling the hurt. You're both feeling the loss. You both have unspoken regrets with each other. He's saying the best possible outcome is a wish fulfillment. So that's nice. Now, it is a very Piscean energy and it is a water element i do see sometimes that this is just the energy that both of you wish for so let's see we're going to clarify and see what's going on with you guys and your person Four of Wands and the Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Definitely, again, commitment, reunion type of energy. All right, so the Ace of Cups is feelings. They want a new beginning. Definitely with the Ace, it's a potential. One more. Wow, the Lovers. Okay. Definitely this, I mean, the two of cups and the lovers together. You got this person, Libra. Now, the difference that I've said here that when I see the lovers, I always feel like they're separated or they're some type of uh, destiny, but with coming with consequences, cause and effect. But uh, this is beautiful. They want to give this relationship a chance. They feel you are the person here that they want to be with. There's that mirroring. Kind of you complete me energy. You're my other half. If you don't like the complete me. Tell me about the king of wands. It's beautiful though. Tell me about the king of wands as actions. One more. Wow, the moon. Pisces, cancer energy. But overall, they want to come out of hiding here. <laughs> The king of wands does not hide. I, I think I had this in another spread. Definitely they want to come forward here full of passion and looking good and feeling like they win something. But um, there's a lot of fluctuation with the moon. There's a lot of concealment. Tell me about the two of cups. I feel like they will come out. If they've been uh, hiding, they will come out uh, more forcefully. Or more passionately. Tell me about the Two of Cups. One more. Wow. Okay, so there's been... We have the Five of Cups and the Five of Pentacles. Mars in Scorpio, Mercury in, uh, in Taurus. Um, you guys, you feel left out. They view you as the one that rejected them, for some of you. Or the one here that, because of financial obstacles, or someone was abandoned here. Again, they, they view that you are the one here, but there's been some abandonment. Now, if they're the ones that left you, Libra, they can feel right now guilty. Because remember, this is the blockage, the star. So I feel like something happened. Again, it may be just financial obstacles because the Ten of Pentacles is what they don't like. So some type of financial situation or rejection or again, fear. But they view you like this. So I feel like they feel like they left you out. Or someone that was rejected. Tell me about the star. Why is this as a blockage? One more. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes, there's been uh, some type of walking away, emotional withdrawal. They... they they're trying to help at the same time they feel like 
maybe there's not a return here. Again, this is their perceptive. If you're asking what, what the blockage is, why they're not doing, you know, why they're not coming forward, why they're not doing what they're supposed to do. I, I feel like they know they disappointed you or there's been some type of disappointment. The person walked away. Things did not turn out as you both expected. Why the Page of Swords is what they like best about you. One more. Remember the Nine of Cups. Again, I feel like they... Uh, they know you wish, uh, you know, for, for you guys to talk, for both of you to connect. There's this curiosity. There's this uh, youthful gratification type of energy with the Nine of Cups, Piscean energy. But uh, that's what they love. They, they know that they're still, it's this person. They're, they have a problem with a star because, again, someone walked away. But at the same time, they feel like you think of them or you're still interested. You wish for something here that they have. I feel like for some of you, again, this is that kind of exciting energy that surrounds you. The Nine of Cups is, I'm getting the combination of a very youthful person that always believes, that always feels like things are going to turn out well. So I feel like overall it has to do um, with your nature, how you think in a positive, youthful way, always interested, always excited. Um, type of personality and that's what but for some of you I feel like they they feel that you're still interested in them why the ten of swords is their hopes one more justice you see Libra ten of swords and justice so um wow this is I will say, like, when I look at this combination, punishment, legal matters, for some of you, a divorce being over, they're hoping for a divorce or something that has been very negatively, finally, they, they, they want things to be fair. If they have for, because I'm getting a lot of something about punishment or right, you know, making it right, because the judgment is their intentions. It doesn't have to be for some of you here that they did something. Maybe, again, the circumstances were. For some of you, definitely this person knows. Because, look, we have the Five of Pentacles there. They view you as the one here that was left out or, you know, abandoned type of situation. They want the Ten of Swords to be over and justice finally to, to prevail type of thing. Divorce for some of you in legal matter can be. Because, look, they're hanging, they're holding and waiting for, wow. Okay, this person is waiting for something to change. Regarding you, but definitely I'm getting some type of um, repercussions. Why the Ten of Pentacles is what they don't like. One more. Yeah, there was an offer here. Someone is waiting for the person to finally commit. Look, the Six of Wands, the King of Pentacles with the Queen of Swords waiting. Attention, success. There may be some type of family, there may be some type of choosing regarding commitment and family that, again, someone here was not sure regarding this offer. Still in limbo. That's what they don't like. Tell me about the judgment. Tell me about the judgment. What's their intentions? One more. The seven of wands okay so definitely they want something here to come out of the obstacles the challenges the defensive energy it's in combination again with this walking away for them feeling that they're finally the two of you here will be together this is overcoming the obstacles and the blockages contact for some of you finally someone to go forward and um, open up but overall it's just that moment of truth where there's nothing standing in the way that's what their intentions are. Both of you have the Five of Cups. So let's see here. What happened here with the Five of Cups? Hmm. One more. Oh my goodness. Upheaval. 
tower. You, it's not been an easy road for you both. I think you feel this connection and it's very much like an emotional whirlwind. It, it's creating a lot of um, passion because remember, this is Mars, the tower, but there's been a lot of chaotic situation. Maybe again, certain things did not go. You're holding to this. You cannot let go, but at the same time, there's a lot of havoc. I think this is just an emotional type of um, upheaval. Both of you are going through this. The tension, the burn, the fire. You miss each other. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. And you both are wishing on one another. One more. Oh my goodness. Look at the Five of Cups coming again. There's a choice to be made. You guys are waiting for the choice. The very soon, the Two of Wands is again waiting until the right moment to make a move. But again, I feel like this is because you guys cannot move on from one another. This is very specific. Again, if some of you have moved on, again, this you're looking at this reading for a specific person, uh, the person that you have on your mind. So. I feel the ones here that want their person back, you're still holding on. I feel like there's a wish fulfillment that is coming. And again, in this way, there is going to be a choice between two people to get you out of whatever has been holding back. The, the sadness, the farewell, the regrets. It's time to speak your mind, uh, Libra, you and your person, and finally confess. I really hope this resonates with you guys. In the extended, we will see where the connection is and how you both mirror each other. Thank you. Bye-bye.